Hello, welcome to Link Tutorial. My name is Nitish, and in this part, we are going to learn about first method of sorting, and the name of method is order by. So we will learn what is order by method. We will create multiple examples of order by. We will create some examples with a filtering as well, and we will write all the queries in both the syntax, in the query syntax, and in the method syntax. So first, let's understand what is order by method. order by method is used to sort data in ascending order so basically this is fixed if you need your data in the ascending order only then you can use order by method and we can apply order by method or on any type so basically this is not type dependent you can apply any data type in order by you can use characters you can use integers decimals floats you can use any kind of data type in order by but the thing is that this can sort data in ascending order only so let's create some examples and for that part let me open my visual studio so here i am in my visual studio and for the order by part let's let me create a data source so here i have a very basic data source and the data source is list of integers and the data in this list is not in a particular order so you can see we have 5 then 12 then 13 then 1 so the data is not in any order and the thing is that we have to sort this data so suppose i need to set this data in ascending order let's see how can we do that first let's go with the query syntax and then we will learn everything in the method syntax and you can write your name of the variable So suppose num in data source name data source in then you have to use order by method order by and see what we are going to use in the order by basically in our list we have only integers so num will hold all the integers one by one and we can apply order by on num so we can write simply n u n and that's it select what we are going to select num and then we will convert this data in a list using two list method so at this part you can see what is the data type of query syntax it is i ordered enumerable of integers why ordered enumerable because we are using ordered by so if you are using ordered by then the type is i ordered enumerable the thing is that it is enumerable and if we use dot to list method then you will see the data type of query syntax that is list of integers so for this part let me put a breakpoint on console dot read line and let's press f5 so let's see what is available in the query syntax so in query syntax we have all the records all the seven records and you can see that the data is arranged in the ascending order if we need to display the data on the console let's see how can we do that i'm going to use for each method and in the for each loop i will write my data source here and then simple console dot write line method i can simply display item and let me press f5 so here is our console in this console you will see we have all the data and the data is available in the sorting order now let's see how can we do the same thing in the method syntax where first the data source then dot order by and in order by we will use our lambda expressions suppose it is num such that num that's it and we are going to use to list method to execute this query and in the for each loop in steel of query syntax i am going to use now method syntax let me press f5 and let's see what is available on the display screen so you will see we have the same data the data is we have all the records all the seven records and the data is available in the sorted format and the order of the data is ascending because first 5 1 5 7 and let's go to the debug part let's see what is available in the debug mode in the method syntax we have all the seven records and in the query syntax we also have all the seven records now let's apply some where conditions on this query so the thing is that suppose now in this part i have to apply some where query so where will i write our where query will it be after order by or will it be before order by so the thing is that it should be before order by 
because order by is used just to arrange the data in a particular order and before that you need to filter your data so we will always write our where condition before order by where suppose i am going to select all the numbers which are greater than 10 so this is our 12 now what we are doing first from num in data source int then we will apply our where condition after applying the where condition and let's see what is available in the query syntax we have only four records because the condition is that the record should be greater than 10 and the sorted data and the filtered data should be in a proper sorted format in a ascending order so you can see that all the records are greater than 10 and everything is in an ascending order now let's see how can we do that in the method syntax so as i told you we should use where before order by so i'm going to press dot then where and using the lambda expressions i will write a condition here num is greater than 10 okay now let's press f5 here you will see we have the same four records and all the four records are greater than 10 and in an ascending order if i go to console screen you can see all the records here as well that everything is in the sorted order and greater than 10 now let's see some example with the string so here i have one more data source and this data source is of string this data source contains some names data source string this is the name of the list and now we are going to apply some conditions on this string let me delete this part you will write everything from scratch okay so fair query syntax from suppose str or you can write name in what is the name of the data source it is data source string then we will apply are the order by condition if you have some where conditions you can use that if you don't have any where condition then you can apply directly order by order by name okay and then you will select the name and after selecting the part we will convert everything to a list by using dot to list method and if you need to display it on the console then we can write data source in the for each loop let me press f5 now so you can see we have all the records and all those records are in an ascending order so this is the original data and this is the sorted sorted data so using this way you can sort your data now let's see how can we do the same thing in the method syntax where method syntax the data source name data source is data source string dot order by and we can use lambda expression suppose this is name then dot to list that's it we can replace this method syntax in the for each to see the result on the display let me press f5 now you can see all the data is available again and in the sorted order and the order is ascending if you need to apply some where conditions then you can use where condition as well where name dot length is greater than 6 suppose this is my condition okay and now let me press f5 so let's see what what are the records in query syntax there are only three records what are that anderson collins and michelle and in the method syntax we have all the records because in method syntax we don't have any condition that's why we have all the records if we want to apply some condition in method syntax then we can filter our data based on that condition let's apply some condition here as well so before or drive we will use the where method where name such that name dot length is greater than six and now again let's press f5 so you can see in the method syntax also we have only three records which are exactly equal to the query syntax let's see what is available on the display screen so on the control screen as well we have only all those three records and the three records are in the ascending order so this is the way of using 
order by on string list now let's go with some object let me remove all this part and this is our data source so for this part i have a class the name of the class is employee this has four properties but i have assigned only three properties so you can see that in the list the type of list is list of employees and we have four records one two three four and it has id name and email now suppose i need to sort this list based on the id first you can see that we have first id is three then two one four the data is not sorted so we need to sort this data in ascending order let's see how can we do that first i will write my query in the query syntax so where query syntax from emp in data source what is the name of data source it is data source and then order by emp dot because emp is the object now so we have to use the property on what property you are going to sort your data so first if I need to sort my data on ID column, then I will use ID and then I will select the EMP from this query. And then to execute this query at this place, I will I will use dot to list method. And now let me press F5. So you can see we have all the four records. What is available on the first one? The ID is one. What is the second? ID is two third what id is third and the fourth id is four so we have sorted data based on the id if you need to change the order then you can use some other part suppose now i am sorting my data based on the name so i will use name now let me press f5 so here you can see that we have for all the four records and the first record is ln because the name is starting from a the second one is Anderson because Anderson is after the Allen. That's why. And you can see that the ID is 4. So at this time, our execution is not considering the ID. It is only considering the names. Let's see what is available in the third one. Third one has the Smith. ID is 3. And the last one is Thomas because it is starting from the D. That's why the data is available at the last. So using this way, you can sort your objects. If you need to write everything in the method syntax, so let's see how can we do that. Method syntax is the data source name. Data source name is data source dot order by emp such that emp dot. You have to write the property name. Suppose I'm using name, and then to execute this query, I will use dot to list method. And let me press F5 now. So you can see the result of method syntax is also equal to the query syntax. First one we have Alan, then we have Anderson, then we have Smith, and then we have Thomas. If you need to apply some filter as well, then you can do the same thing like the previous example. You can use the where method here. Suppose I'm choosing only those reports in which ID is greater than 2. So emp dot ID is greater than 2. It is very simple. First the data source line, then the condition, then the order by, and then the selection. Same we can do in the method syntax. Dot pair and then emp such that emp dot id is greater than 2. And now let's see what is the result. Let me press F5. So the result of query syntax is that we have only two records and the id is 4 and the name is Anderson in the second record the id is 3 and the name is Smith so we have two records and the id is greater than 2 in both the records and the data is sorted based on the name that's what we have written in our query let's see what is the result of method syntax the method syntax also has only two records and it is equal to the query syntax so which is fine using this technique you can sort your data you can sort your data source thank you for watching if you like this video please hit the subscribe button of the channel